Well, we, uh, we have close to 100 bears, uh, female bears, with radio collars in three different areas of the state. This is one of them. And we visit all of these, uh, all of these females every winter in their dens uh, to maintain the collars. We need to replace the collars so that they have enough battery life to make it to the next den. But while we're there, we also are able to measure the bear, weigh the bear, and count the amount of cubs that we find in the dens and count the amount of yearlings that we find in the dens. Today, we're going to a den that, has, that should have yearlings. Um, she gave birth to three cubs last winter. Um, typically, that happens right about in the middle of January. And uh, we, we actually saw her the first week of March, March 8th, and she weighed 136 pounds, and uh, she had three uh, four pound cubs with her, two males and a female. So we're going to go in and see how, you know, see if all three of them are there or just one or two. They're going to go in and immobilize the, the adult female. She's 10 years old and if we took the whole team in it would be that much more stressful for her. We're trying to keep the stress to a minimum and a small group to go in and, and, and put her uh, to sleep. And then once she's asleep, then we can allow the group to come in. And they still, they do have to uh, 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 immobilize the, the the yearlings as well because they'll be about 50 pounds and can't really handle them without without having drugs. Uh, when first going to the den, it, it's um, it's pretty exciting. The sows awake, the yearlings are awake, and they they typically um, kind of give us a some body language to let us know that they're not happy that we're there, but um, they're pretty fair to us and they tolerate us um, pretty well. So we sedate the mother and then I'm responsible for going in and hand surging the yearlings. And that can be challenging sometimes to fit into those tight spaces. Well, she'll have uh, some memory of their approach. Once uh, once she's under the influence of the drugs, it's like, um, it's like a dream. She doesn't really know what happened after after she's gone to sleep. So here you go. think that it's that it's cruel to the bear to hunt them in this mechanism. Do you feel that way? No, I don't. But I I don't think uh, I understand the game much better than most people do uh, because I've been involved in it most of my adult life. Um, but you can argue about what's cruel and what's fair forever. Um, we have to work. Uh, work with the numbers and uh, we're asked to manage the bear population at a level that's acceptable by the public um, and healthy for the bears and that's what uh, we need all three techniques to be able to do that um, in order to be able to control the numbers uh, to keep the numbers from increasing rapidly and so if we lose these techniques the, the, the population uh, will increase rapidly and so will conflicts